Hello, and welcome to my video series, Python for Automating Information Security. My name is Thomas McNeila. A little bit about my background. I've worked for a few major corporations in the past, Motorola Mobility, U.S. Cellular, and my current position is Software Engineering Director at Fifth Column LLC, which is an information security firm located in the Chicago area. I really love working in any area within tech, but you can see some of my particular favorites are listed here on this slide. So let's start talking about the course. It's split up into seven sections, and let's go over them one by one. So in section one, you're going to first get an, an overview of the, the virtual environment that you're going to be working in, and then you're going to learn how to find, understand, modify, and test an exploit script written in Python. You're actually going to rewrite an entire exploit in Python. In section two, you're going to begin by learning about packet capture files. You'll then write Python code to analyze a packet capture file automatically and look for unusual network activity. In section three, you're going to learn about open source intelligence, and you'll then use Python to automate gathering certain types of OSINT that would be very useful in a penetration test. In section four, similar in the process of section two, you will analyze a server log file looking for unusual activity. You'll then write the Python code to automate the analysis process. Then in section five, we're going to talk about Netcat, which is an incredibly useful tool in penetration testing, but often system administrators wisely block it from running on machines due to, due to its potential for abuse. But in this section, you're going to learn how to write a Python replacement for Netcat, then that can then be used on any system that supports Python. In section six, we're going to be talking about capturing network packets off the wire. In many penetration tests, it's very useful to perform live packet captures to analyze what's going on on the network. So you're going to be able to learn how to capture plain text credentials off of the network traffic and also write an offensive tool for ARP cache poisoning. And then finally, section seven, now that you've learned all those practical examples, it'll be time to write your own penetration testing tool. We've already written a few by this point, but in this section, you're going to combine multiple techniques into one comprehensive tool. Some of the prerequisites. First off, I would recommend Python experience. You could potentially take this without Python experience, but I'm not going to be explaining Python basics throughout it, so you might want to at least brush up a little bit on some of your basic Python before starting this course. It's going to be very important that you want to break things because some of the modules in this course are focused around penetration testing and automating that. And you have to want to break security if you're going to do penetration testing. We're going to have to have Oracle VirtualBox installed on your machine. You're going to download Kali Linux. That's going to be your testing machine that you're going to launch your exploits from. You're going to download Metasploitable 2, which we can run tests against. And I also recommend that you install the PyCharm IDE on your Kali system. It's not necessary, but I personally really find PyCharm IDE to be very, very helpful. Some of my course goals here for you. I want to encourage you to learn how to design modular, flexible, reusable code for whatever you're doing. We want to talk about some common information security activities, especially if you don't have a lot of experience in information security. You're going to be able to learn a lot about what typical day might be in the day of a security engineer. We're going to learn a little bit about some of the deeper details of network packets. I'm going to walk you through these programs that I've written that you can use in the real world. Most importantly, I want to inspire you to write your own programs, especially for information security, if that's what you aspire to do or you currently do. But I want you to be inspired to write programs for whatever you want to automate. It's a big world out there. There's a lot that has been written and there's a lot that hasn't. So when you want to learn, one of the best ways to do it is to write code. And I hope that by sharing this course with you, you will feel confident that you can write code to do whatever you want. Let's do it.